Hey guys, it's Michael here from Calisthenics Family and welcome to the third episode of my Calisthenics Transformation Series in which I'm on my journey to build muscle mass and get stronger. So as promised, in this episode I will review my current Calisthenics training program. So in this video I'm going to tell you guys how you can properly construct your workout routine and put all the different attributes that you need in your workout into your workout plan. So let's get this video started and let's get into my workout plan to build muscle mass. Let's do this. Alright guys, so let's have a closer look to my complete workout plan that I'm currently doing. So as you can see here in front of you, you can see my current workout plan um, that goes from Monday until Saturday. And if you look closely, you can see that I'm doing a push-pull legs split routine. And reason being is because this way I can hit all the muscle groups twice a week, which is most optimal for hypertrophy or muscle building. So let's have a closer look to the actual workouts. So here you can see the first workout on Monday, the push workout, here the pull workout, on Wednesday legs workout, on Thursday I have a rest day, and then on Friday a weighted push workout, and on Saturday a pull workout, also weighted. And the first part of the week I focus on hypertrophy, a um, lot of volume, a lot of repetitions, and at the end of the week I focus a little bit more on strength, but also still hypertrophy. So now let's have a closer look to the actual build-up of each workout. So for example on Monday this is my push workout focused on hypertrophy and here you can see the build-up of the workout and this is a very good way to structure your workouts and making sure that you hit all the different attributes in your workout. For example your warm-up, your skill work, strength work, core work, mobility and flexibility. If you're not familiar with this, I would highly recommend to start implementing this uh, like workout hierarchy. So as you can see from the variations here on the top, you'll see that I've added the angle and the target of the exercise. And this is really important and often neglected, but it's really important that you look closely to the muscles that you want to target, but also the different angles that you want to uh, do in your workout. So a big mistake, for example, would be to only focus on horizontal pushing uh, for your chest, for example, uh, but neglecting the vertical way of pushing or the waistline way of pushing. So um, this gives a like a clear overview on how you can structure this and making sure that you put everything that is needed into your workout. So the first part speaks for it. So the warm up, uh, blood flow, mobility, positioning drills like core exercises, uh, then some skill work. Um, I'm not focusing too much on skill work during the strength workouts because I only want to focus on strength during these workouts. I do like five minutes of handstands because I'm practicing my handstand in another workout session, um, which I'll explain later. But the biggest part of the workout is the strength part. So for example, here you can see the buildup of the strength part. So starting with planche assist holds, and this is a straight arm isometric hold. Then I like to switch between straight arm exercises and bent arm exercises because then I can rest for my straight arm exercises uh, while I'm doing the bent arm exercises such as the wall hands and push-ups and that is a vertical pushing exercise then a straight arm dynamic exercise again the elsa to tuck planche then another bent arm exercise this time focusing on our waistline pushing strength the pseudo planche push-ups then another straight arm dynamic exercise, ring flies, and then finishing off with decline push-ups and also a bent arm horizontal way of pushing. And at last, you can focus on isolation work, uh, for example, for your triceps. And next to that, here you can see the core work, else it holds an isometric exercise and a dynamic exercise and some mobility and flexibility work. So this is how the structure of my workout looks like that I've been doing already 
for years. Now I have also seen this in the book Overcoming Gravity that I just showed you guys last week that this is a really good way to set up your workouts. So let's get real quick through all the other workouts. I'm not gonna do everything in full detail otherwise it's gonna be way too long. So here on Tuesday you see the pool workout, only body weight exercises focused on hypertrophy. Then here you can see my legs workout, also focused on hypertrophy. Then on Thursday I have a rest day. So then on Friday I will be fully recovered from these three workouts and then I can start my weighted workouts. So then I have a weighted push workout on Friday and a weighted pull workout on Saturday. So guys, this is my full workout routine that I'm currently doing for six weeks. And like I said in the first episode, then after those six weeks, I will switch it up and start my strength cycle, focusing more on all the weighted exercises and really working to my one rep max. And like I said in the beginning, I don't do a lot of handstand work during my strength workouts. I like to have the focus on during my workout, but I'm really grinding on the one arm handstand. That is what I'm doing in the evening. Then I have a lot of more focus if I only focus on one particular skill, especially for the one arm handstand. You need so much focus and I've noticed that you can't just do the one arm handstand prior to a push workout because then my shoulders are already fatigued from other handstand work. So uh, I've divided this in another session at night, just uh, one hour of practice for three times per week on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All right, so now that I've showed the workout plan, let me show you how this looks in practice. So after doing the warm up and skill work, it's time for strength work. And the first exercise is the planche assist hold, the straight arm isometric exercise for the shoulders. Um, I'm really focusing on good form here. That's why I'm doing 20 seconds then exercise two is the wall handstand push-up a bent arm vertical pushing exercise also for the shoulders and for this I'm also working uh, towards hypertrophy so doing a lot of volume four sets in total up to eight to ten repetitions then the third exercise is another straight arm dynamic exercise the L sit to tucked planche also for the shoulders but this time working our straight arm strength and as you can see I really try to push all the way up with straight arms and have a protracted scapula then the fourth exercise another bent arm waistline pushing exercise as you can see from the wrist they're almost touching my hips so that's why it's a waistline pushing exercise really good for exercises that require a lot of leaning for example the planche but also a 90 degree handstand push-up then the fifth exercise is a sort of straight arm and bent arm exercise at the same time so for this I'm doing four sets in total and 10 to 12 reps so let's hop on straight to the last exercise and that is the isolation exercise for the triceps and this is the parallel tricep extension it looks really close to the movement of a impossible dip um, but I can't do that yet but this works the same way and I can really feel the burn in my triceps so guys this was the strength part of the workout i hope that you now have an idea of the workout practice itself next to the workout plan all right guys so this was in short my workout plan but also an explanation of the workout practice from my push workout so i hope this was helpful it gives you an idea on how you can create your own plan which kind of exercises you need to put in your workout routine and also like the structure of your workout routine um, in the different variations for example the pushing the horizontal pushing but also skill work um, warm-up and also core and flexibility work let me know in the comments if this was helpful and if you want me to create more videos like this maybe for my pool workout i'll see you guys in the next episode in which i'm going to share a day in the life of my uh, current calisthenics muscle building journey so thanks for watching subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next episode Peace out guys.